What's up, everybody? I tell you what, we've got a hell of a day planned today. Uh, you know we're giving away the Dolph Demon 170, but there's a lot of Dolph trucks and cars here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So I invited everyone over to show off their rides and show what's going on. And as you can tell, just like the wraps, they're all one-off, all hand-built, and they're all different and numbered. There's only one hundred of these wraps that are issued out there and when they're gone they're gone and i believe they're pretty close to being gone but more importantly we've also got the guys from on the gas and bandacy truck is coming out because they got an event going down in two weeks that i've never been able to go to and i have heard that it is just total fun chaos bands you name it and gas is going to be there in full effect we're bringing out skid mark we're bringing out the uh, mf 79 if josh finishes it and on top of that we're going to be there with some gas monkey gear so if you're not paying attention pay attention now may 25th texas motor speedway fantasy truckers plus on the gas plus gas monkey garage that is a mix get you some of that let's have some fun today Right here behind me is uh, one of the coolest trucks I've seen in a long time, and uh, belongs to Miss Lacey Blair, who is blowing up the internet, the YouTubes, Aww. you name it, you say it. She's out there, she's doing it, and she's doing it right. And what's really cool is she's doing the work, and she's putting in the time to go to all the shows and everything like that. So congratulations on your success. It's really, really kick-ass to watch. I appreciate it so much. I, yeah, I've been watching you for a long time, you know. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's the blonde hair, now it's the brown hair. <laughs> you know, I like to switch Tattoos, it up on everybody. Tattoos, I don't you know. Gotta, I got a style, I just don't know what it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what we're looking at here, because I've never gotten to, yeah. you, you roll by, or I'm rolling by, and we haven't got to talk about it. What we got? Yeah, so we've got my 2022 F250. Um, it's a frame off build. I don't know if you noticed that. So we actually built this in pretty much 10 days for SEMA. Um, it was a bare frame at that 10 day point. Powder coated frame, it's an 18 inch Elevate lift kit. We've got 28 inch JTX forged and 44 inch boggers. And then of course, as all of us here are partial to, the Dolph Wrap camo. Yeah, it's really cool. Atlanta custom wraps and yeah, there was, there's a lot of detail and a lot of time in this for what it is, you know, for the bolt-on kit and everything. Um, everything powder coated by me. And yeah, me and pretty much one of my guys put this together in that time period. Don't let her show off too much. The powder coating's right there where her shop is. <laughs> like a big powder coating shop. I think we've got a little easy bake oven that we use for keychains. Oh, you or do? Something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really badass. And uh, I saw it out at a couple of shows, but I didn't get to really check it out. I dig it. Maybe I got to buy it from you one of these days. Oh, because I know you, need, you Oh, we can try it, but that's a, <laughs> that's a dangerous game, those it giveaways. Is, sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, anyways, Lacey's here. Uh, you're going to be at Bandazzi Truckers, right? Yes. May definitely. 25th. I'm going to be doing burnouts. You're going to be doing the burnouts. I'm going to be doing too. burnouts. Not in this, but in the burnout truck. So. Oh, that is badass. Because you and uh, your guy are doing some yeah. kind of burnout war thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I've been watching that blow up too. Yeah, that was a you good have to come idea. Out I can't believe as many burnouts I've done right here. I had I didn't think of that idea. I love that there's just so much of it going on everywhere. So I'm hanging out here with some guys that I know of and I've watched their videos. I've paid attention to the shows, but I've never actually formally met you guys. So yes, sir, yes, Project sir. Torque. Yes, sir. Mr. Richard Rollins, we've been fans of your channel for a very long time and we're actually here in his headquarters this time. And we're going to show you some of the trucks that we brought out and the trucks that we're going to be bringing to Bandas y Trocas on May 25th. And then we've got on the gas. Yep. What's up, my man? Right. These guys get some views, man. I got to step up. But let's start out with you two guys because I know y'all brought some trucks. Come show me this stuff. Let's yes, go. sir. Let's go. Baby TRX. I bet you never seen one of those, huh, Richard? I've only seen them online. Oh. There's a guy just across the border that makes a couple of these things. So, Richard, this is actually number one ever made. That one was, was done here in uh, Baytown, Texas. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we ended up buying it off of them guys, and uh, man, it's, it's, it's a hell of a truck. It's got 900 horsepower. Single cab, TRX, short bed. So it was originally a four-door. They chopped it down, made it small, and we have a single cab now. That's freaking badass. Yes, you know, and everything works on it. Uh, All-wheel drive works on it, AC, everything. The truck rides and, and sounds like it's OEM. That's freaking kick-ass. I like the color scheme too, man. Mm -hmm. That is killer. You know, that I've been driving TRXs for about... Well, since I started making them. And, uh, <laughs> so I get a new one every couple of years. I just haven't had the, uh, the guts to cut it down, but it looks cool as yes, shit. Yes, sir. So this is a machine that we could take off-road, 
we get drag race we actually have a drag park for it and uh man you could pretty do anything with this truck and drive it back home we just drove it two and a half hours from houston texas to over here kick ass man what's yes, next sir. next we got my og this is my personal truck we started with this truck uh this is actually the truck that started my whole youtube channel and uh man this is this is my first truck that i ever bought we have a 6.0 uh engine 460 transmission uh posse rear end and this is, truck gets down on the burnouts it's actually been to SEMA a couple of times and uh we always throw it down at every event like bandas y trocas this is going to be one one of the trucks that's going to be out there that's freaking and, uh, badass yeah. too man i've we seen some tires of these, bits i anything. know i've seen these videos so <laughs> i know what this truck will do i like this crazy paint scheme on this one over here oh yeah that's the cost right there Takashi. Yes, sir. This is actually my boy Beto's truck right here. Yeah, this is this is our burnout truck. It's uh, I think it's 2004 Chevy, a beat up junkyard 60. Yeah. Uh, cam, Texas speed heads, Holly intake, Holly uh, computer, you know, big stall, a bunch of gears. This thing is is meant to do burnouts and it's meant to be on fire. As you can see, <laughs> the wrap is on fire already. It's a little burning. I know you like uh, V8 sounds, right? Oh yeah. Let's clear out some of these, and uh, we got a lot going on today. in this little bitty spot anybody that hasn't been here before is gonna know this is a very very tiny spot and uh these guys are absolutely killing it out here and uh we had a big crowd that's now uh well they're full of asphalt and burnt rubber but uh kick ass man absolutely awesome how was it what there you <laughs> holy cow that is absolutely a first guys holy cow that was badass you guys want to see some more of this fucking badass shit May 25th, Texas Motor Speedway, uh, Bandits de Truckas. You're going to have on the gas out there, Project Torque, and uh, a whole lot of other, uh, well, guys that like trucks and doing burnouts. So get you some of that. Woo! <laughs> and get your tickets right now at BanditsDeTruckas.com, right? Get it. Yeah. Get it. You better get your tickets because it's going to sell out. So it's early on, uh, I guess, Monday. And my friends at Earth Room gave us a call last Friday and said, why don't you come out and uh, get on one of our Big John Expedition trucks and go check out Moab? And I'm like, wow, it sounds like a really shitty idea. Yeah.
All right, so we just landed here in uh, Boulder, uh, Grand Colorado, Denver slash something airport. I don't know, it's got like a whole bunch of uh, letters in front of it. But at the end of the day, uh, our friends at Earth Firma gave us a call and uh, Dustin and Zach are meeting us out here with these two badass trucks. And we are going to go up to Moab, Utah, a place that I actually have never been. And uh, we're gonna check it all out, uh, do some off-roading, maybe do some trails, do some ups. Maybe, you know, definitely we don't want to fall down the side, but we're going to do some sketchy shit and have some fun. So what do we got going on? So we've got both of our different models here. Uh, the one that's in a red color is going to be a little bit of our smaller model. We call it the Earth Roamer LTI. Uh, that's going to be based on a Ford F550. Uh, and then next to it here, we've got a newer model that we just came out with back in, we announced it SEMA 22. That's our Earth Roamer SX. So a little bit larger model, it's like the big brother to the LTI, uh, and this one's based on the Chevy 6500. What? So we got a Ford and Chevy choice. Mark in your comments, see what you think. So uh, this thing looks like a big bad boy. Tell me, I know you're gonna tell me a lot on the deal, but at the, what's the short like elevator pitch on these things? I mean, they're Wi-Fi, they're stereoed up, they're sleepers, they're toilets, there's showers, there's everything, right? So the idea is it's meant to be a completely self-sufficient off-the-grid vehicle uh, that's still just as comfortable as you have all the comforts at home. So uh, we wanted to build something that could go anywhere uh, and not be reliant on the grid. So you've got you've got everything. You've got your full kitchen inside, you've got your rainfall shower you've got 120 gallons of fresh water on the SX 100 gallons on the smaller LTI and you can go off-grid everything is solar powered with lithium-ion batteries uh, so we're not running any kind of generators or anything like that I mean we're gonna disappear out into the desert for a couple days and uh, you're not even gonna really notice we're lacking anything but you said all the creature comforts at home and I don't hear any girls <laughs> I thought you were bringing them damn it somebody screwed this up <laughs> look at this Unbelievable. What? This is fucking nice, dude. It is real nice. I mean, it's better than the lazy days, I can tell you that. The, do not talk shit on the lazy days. <laughs> this one looks like it's packed up. It's got the food and the munchies and uh, stuff like that. Uh, a little bit smaller, but still has everything. TV, king size bed with a sunroof. I can poke my head through that like uh, 1976 going, love is a mini splendid thing. Or however it went. Um, let's see. Yeah, super cool. Got a wine cooler. Got another fridge. Oh, they got food in this mug. We ain't going starving. I thought we were going to have to shoot something and eat it. Look at that. All right. So it looks good. Uh, I think I'm gonna ride the big one. Hey, hold on, y'all went and came and looked at the other one without telling me. Yeah, it looks just like the big one, except smaller. This thing is nice. Look, hey, yeah, you could bring Cat. <laughs> you see? Oh God, or you. <laughs> what are we gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> well. Right on. <laughs> well, let's get this party started. Earth Roamer, Times Gas Monkey, in Utah. All right, so I think this is the last uh, civilization. We're fixing to go into uh, the desert. We're gonna go up a couple of hills, around the Yonder Pass, probably up by Grandma's house. But uh, here in just a minute, we're not gonna see any of these, uh, well, conveniences. So supposedly this is some crazy place called Jackass Joe's UFO Jerky. I don't know if you're jacking off Joe or jacking off jerky or jacking off uh, UFOs, but we're gonna go in here and jack it off and see what happens. <laughs> gonna, I'm not going in that motherfucker. Fucking hell, they said it was crazy. Carolina <laughs> Reaper. Oh, I'm getting some of those. Something for Daphne. Yeah, for Daphne. Let's get that. Richard, how much did you just spend at the beef jerky store? I think it was like $144. But I got this sweet ass postcard we're gonna send to Daphne. <laughs> this is uh Crack Boss. Carolina Reaper, 
by deathnuts.com. Sounds serious. Want a death ball? Oh, got a little bit at the end, not there. <laughs> yep, that, yeah, that'll get, yeah, wow. that'll get you. That'll get you on the tail end. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Oh, it just keeps building. It does. You just have another one. Holy shit! Okay, if you're gonna do crack, you might as well do crack balls. <laughs> Those motherfuckers are hot. So far, everything else is okay. What was that last part, Brandon? <laughs> Brandon just had another handful of crack balls. Later on, we're gonna see who can crunch them up and snort them. <laughs> That's really hot. No, those things are fucking, they're not good. You know what would be fun, though? Get a whole bunch of those and switch them at the grocery store for the little kids ones. Oh my god! Yeah, that's fucked. So, we just turned off the main roads. Uh, we're up here in Moab, uh, and uh, it looks like we've got about an hour or so till sunset. We're trying to get to our campsite before uh, the sun actually goes down. Uh, everything from here on is off-road, and uh, we're in some kind of state park. I hear there's a lot of rules and stuff. It's probably not going to go good for me. So it looks like we're hitting camp right here uh, on this big, uh, what would they call this, a butte, a crested butte? I don't know, a view uh, of, of, of the city. I don't, I don't know, it looks pretty over there though. Dude, these things are sick. I mean, look at that. Self-leveling right now, flattening itself all out. We got a cool spot for a fire. What do you think about it? Absolutely beautiful. They got rad. So they're this quiet and everything's on. It's all solar power and lithium batteries. Unbelievable. I imagine camping like back when I was younger. <laughs> Freaking diesel generators or gas generators or whatever. This is truly like, I hope the coyotes will sneak up on us. I like coyote jerky. Maybe we can sell it back to UFO Bob. Is that how that works? Alright guys, so day two, we're out here in, I don't know where we are in Moab. Uh, it's pretty awesome, got to wake up early with Brandon and we watched freaking sunrise, it was pretty cool. But now it's time for the fun stuff, we're gonna take the smaller earth roamer and go and do a bunch of like wild trails. He said that there's like some switchbacks going up a mountain with like a 10,000 foot drop, so I'm not nervous. We're up and ready, I've had some coffee, my morning poop, I'm ready to go. Sweet. So we're gonna be switching it up a little bit today. Yesterday we were in the Chevy-based SX. Today we're gonna switch over to the Ford-based LTI. Uh, a little bit more nimble. We're gonna be running some uh, pretty tough trails here in Moab, so it's gonna be fun. We're gonna run downhill on a trail called Gemini Bridges down okay. towards town. Uh, we can also grab any supplies we need uh, before we go back off grid when we're in town. And then we're gonna turn around, we're gonna head up the uh, Schaefer switchbacks uh, right along the Colorado River. It's gonna be a good time. Gemini. Bridges and shaper switchbacks. I got it. Let's go. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Woo!
road. We're here at a place called Gemini Bridges. We're fixing to go check it out. And I gotta tell you, these things are pretty badass. We're in the Ford one today, and uh, it is having no trouble. And I'll tell you why, because my boy Kelderman's in here. Right on! Little shout out for Kelderman. Kick ass. Brandon, yeah. I mean that was cool and all, but my fat ass is ready to be back in them trucks. <laughs> Too much hiking for me. So I gotta tell you the Gemini Bridges was really, really way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. But now we're back in the truck and it's time to put these earth roamers to the test. We're gonna go up the switchbacks. Unbelievable. I mean, that, I didn't even know that existed in America. I mean, that is absolutely freaking gorgeous. If you have not been there, you, I would say that you need to right now. Go ahead, drop what you're doing. So, uh, one of the traditions they say after wheeling, getting down to the local verbs, is uh, come over here to a place called Milt's Stop and Eat. It's supposed to be the best burger in all of Moab. And there's only one good thing that goes with a good burger, and that's a cold beer. All the cool kids are doing it. Motherfuckers quit rocking the boat. Y'all y'all will go with me. That's the problem. Yeah, but you go first. That's a Jeep. That little speck way down there. Look at that. Freaking badass. I'm pretty sure I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I do like it. It just, holy shit, look at this. So, Life's thrown me a lot of curveballs, and I've been very fortunate uh, to get to do a lot of good things. And man, I'll tell you, I've had some bad times, but uh, as long as you learn from those times and you realize that you live in the greatest country in the world, America, and that uh, at every new corner and new turn, there's something like this that you can see that you've never seen before in your entire life. 
and get to do the things that we, we're doing today and, and tomorrow and what have you is just amazing. And this is just one little bitty pinhole piece of, of America. I mean, get you some of that. Shit. <laughs> so there seems to be a uh, one more rock to jump to get all the way out there to uh, the top of the world. And <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my wife's been warning me about. She's texting the hell out of me not to do stupid shit. Don't do it. It's stupid. <laughs> Don't, do it. Don't do it. It's dumb. I don't think I can. I wouldn't. My stomach. What'd you always say, Richard? If you die, you die, but you're going to live it out to the fullest. Yeah, well, I ain't trying to turn it up that much. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to turn the accelerator up on that shit. <laughs> So it's the last night. Uh, we're here. We're camped out. It's about six. Sun will be down in about an hour and a half. Uh, we're getting ready to make a little food. Uh, Earth Roamer's got a lot of my favorite gigs uh, from pans and knives to uh, our Traeger out there and a Blackstone. So uh, we're going to get started with uh, letting these things get down to temperature on the ribeye steaks. I'm going to mix up a little sauteed green beans on the side. Maybe a side salad, but uh, realistically, Probably just uh, good old steak and, and green beans. That's all you really need when you're out here. And, and of course, beer, garage beer, if you have it. I highly suggest it. Okay, so we're roughing it out here. Uh, you know, with these uh, four by four trucks and hanging out, trying to make a decent meal. Of course, we got steak and beer and gas monkey hot sauces and uh, garage beer and, and steak and vegetables and I mean it's not too rough the weather's really nice I mean, it's like almost picture perfect it's pretty good and uh, you know but man's got to rub it every once in a while Yeah, you can see. <laughs> oh my God! So we just uh, fired up all the uh, trail lights on the Earth Roamer, and uh, I can literally see bugs flying out there, and we can see <laughs> canyons and what have you. And if you turn them off, it's pitch dark black. Those are pretty good lights. Show it to them. <laughs> Damn. Those boats are all lit up. What are they doing down there? Probably pissed off that we're blinding them. <laughs> From the top of the Just tell them it's the new moon. Oh, don't look that way. Yeah, it's, it's intense. I was super impressed with the Earth Roamer trucks. Uh, they're massive beasts and they can literally still go anywhere you want to go. And uh, it was also my first time in Moab and spending some time out there. So beautiful place. I highly suggest it. And I highly suggest the Earth Roamer. But now I got something else coming. And I know there's going to be a lot of complainers and whiners out there. So get your little fingers ready for keyboard whipping because I like this thing. I don't know why, but this thing is pretty freaking neat and I'm going to have some fun with it. And if you don't like it, well, I'm sorry, but it's the way of the future. So get on board or get off. Dude, this thing is so dope. It's weird though. 
I know I'll, I'm gonna have to talk to you for at least 45 minutes to go over all the modes. All I really need to know is where's drive and reverse. Yeah, there's two different options on that. One's on, the, <laughs> one's on the screen and one's on the overhead and you gotta swipe your thumb and you gotta swipe it to go forward, swipe it to go backwards, it's crazy. It's okay. actually way better than I thought it would be. Uh, I stopped at O'Reilly to see if they had a windshield wiper blade for me. What? They didn't have look one? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I was like, look at that. Dude, there's no way you just got it spotted. Yes, I'm telling you, it came out, dude. What do we wipe this off with? We need some stainless cleaner i'm telling you dude they, i guess it rained well, get there last a piece, night. get a rag with some water listen i you call my rep i asked i go did you leave these outside he goes yeah so it was dirty i guess yeah this is the way they delivered it yes yes i'm telling you the other ones too yes that's freaking ridiculous i'm not joking a couple people like i guess didn't take theirs because they had it had they said it had like rust spots on it and the guy's like well it can be cleaned off and it's like stainless steel. What's funny is all you got to do is put what, like mineral spirits on this and it'll be fine. I don't know. That's what people don't know. It's like back in the day. Remember the Targas on the uh, Porsches? They had the stainless steel band. I remember put, the DeLoreans. Well, yeah, you just put mineral spirits. Now you can wrap it, but you can put mineral spirits on it and it keeps it from getting fingerprinted on. It's simple. It's just 70s BS. So it has different modes where you can make different sounds. Like when you activate your alarm, watch this. Unlock it, lock it. Unlock it. Wait, hold on. Lock it. There's a duck quack. And you can change it to the standard stuff. You can uh, open the front. You can open the... That's a frunk. Yeah. What? Did you bring it over here to show it off or are you going to sell it to me? I just literally got it. So for me, I don't know. I mean, I bought, I bought it. I put the deposit down day one. Just got it. It's like 9,700 numbered. I don't know what they're doing with the production build, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's a lot, actually it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be and it's actually cooler than I thought it would be. Everybody knocks it. It's got so much technology in it. It's got, it's got theater mode, which you can watch a movie. It's got gaming mode, which you can play a game while it sits there in parks and you can use the steering wheel to do like a Mario Kart or something. It's got romance mode, which gives you a warm air coming up from the floor in a fireplace and it automatically starts playing like I started playing Luther Vandross. It's got all these different damn modes, dude. Romance no, mode. No, I'm telling Time you, dude. To get in the it's back, got, it's got a light show. Oh, and it's got subwoofer mode, which if you're out here chilling, doing something, you want to play music, it'll play music through. I guess it's got some speakers on Do the it. outside. I don't know how. The guy starts showing me. You have to fucking play with it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I started messing with it. Why do you think the horn sounds like that now? I touched some button and now it used to sound like Star Wars. Now it sounds like a damn. It sounds like this because I was messing with it. That looks like my iPad. Yeah, I know. It's even worse than that. So you got like, here's all your cameras. I can go to the back. That's obviously open. That's a pretty cool shot. Yeah. My shot the front, looks good. I can control the vehicle. I can raise it and lower it from here. I can go. How to, low does it go? Uh, entry level. And then it says low. So I don't know. But it will go all the way down. It says my tailgate's open. The air's on. Is the motor on? No. Why is the air going? I don't know. Again, I'm still learning, dude. I just freaking got this thing. The light show, he just told me about it, where it does all kinds of light tricks. I've not done it. Cool. So you can do that. You can also do a theater mode. That is so wacky. So you can play. You can literally hang out in here. Like if your kids or somebody's doing something, you're like, yeah, well, let's play. Let's watch Hulu, a movie. Netflix. So, you know, show a movie wow. and everything. You get mood lighting. We can lighting. go to YouTube and see Gas Monkey Garage. Yeah. Gas. There it is. Gas Monkey Garage. Second Came up. One Look at down, that. I'm dude. second to Godzilla. Look at this is. Godzilla's go. been around for like 200 years. Look Which at that. One? We can Which play one? It. There you go. We're, we're watching ourselves it's in the Cybertruck. It's a tater tot. That's rad. That's the number one feature on the new Tesla Cybertruck is being able to go to YouTube and see Gas Monkey Garage episodes. Why don't you take a couple of grand <laughs> profit and call it done? Oh, well, you know, that's all the work I have to do. Spend some money like four years ago to make a couple of It was grand. $200. Yeah, but still, I could have put that in Bitcoin and made more than two grand, I guess. Four you'd years have been ago. all right by now. Probably. Yeah, you'd have been oh, much shit. better off. What about... Uh, well, you know what these sell for online, right? Yeah, but they're coming down quick. Uh, yeah, but I they're mean, stabilizing quick. quick, too. They were, uh, <laughs> they were like, you know, a little bit over 200, and then they were yep. 170, then they were 150, and now they're in like 120s. Yeah, uh, but you can't get one now. 
you can order one for late next year, but if you didn't, it, here's the deal, two things. If you did not order one the day within 24 hours of them announcing it, you didn't get one. And yeah, they're only making the so many. genius of what he did. Yeah, uh, well, yeah He took in him. like $700 million yeah, in yeah. deposits. Well, that's so Elon he Musk. financed building the sure. company and the truck with everybody yeah. else's money. He, that's smart. That's why he's Elon Musk. I love it, man. I agree. He's, you know, and you had to deliver a product. If you didn't deliver, you weren't going to, you weren't going to win. And, and people like anybody are going to be spec speculators if they don't get one. But if you actually drive this thing and you sit in it, there's things like you push a button to open the glove box. Is that extreme? Yeah, but is there going to be quality builds? Yeah, but there's quality builds on all brand new cars. Go out there and tell me how much orange peels on my 24 Dodge Ram. Oh, I know. Paint so, jobs these I days mean, suck. At the end of the day, what else are you going to get for a little over 100 grand that's bulletproof, that is autonomous driving, that has all the different cool aspects about it? And I'm going to be honest, it's almost annoying to get the attention you get because stop anywhere and people are going to just take up your time. So if there's any negativity I'm going to say about this thing, it's two things. The negativity of people taking up your time and you can't steer the steering wheel with your knee if you're busy doing something else because the steering wheel is flat on the bottom and if you go to put your knee up there to move it like you're driving and grabbing you're something, you're, yeah. So that's something you catch. But other than that, it's absolutely, it's pretty badass. It is badass. And they're going to customize the crap out of them like a Harley, probably, where you can do so much stuff to them. All right. So judging with the market right now, mm -hmm. we take 10 grand over. Um, I got cash right in there. I understand. Like 100 feet away. I understand. <laughs> There's your answer. I don't know. It locked itself. <laughs> did it just fart? <laughs> yes, it did. That's unbelievable. How about 15 over? Nope. 10. All right. 10? I'll do it. Fuck it. Kick ass. Right, Let's dude. go get you some money and a beer. I'm trying to get business done today. I don't know how to drive this down and I'm very nervous. It drives itself. <laughs> it's super weird. <laughs> I ain't even used the brake yet, it just stops. Yeah, so it's got that regen braking. What happens if you get like potato chip crumbs and everything way up there? How do you get them out? You're fucked, because <laughs> you can't reach that. You can't reach all the way up there. No. How's the steering, is it like super sensitive or? It's sensitive, but it feels good. Hmm. You gotta think about it, almost every single thing is flat. Yeah. So think about what that does for shipping when you need to ship parts. Yeah. I mean, every single thing's been thought through yeah. on how to make it economical. Oh, yeah. Pretty quiet. Feels pretty good. It rides a lot Look, better. Look, no hands. All right, now let's see how many turns it takes to turn the corner. Watch this. Look at that. Not even a whole half turn. Damn, that's nuts. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once you get used to it, I guess it won't be too bad, but it's kind of crazy. Now, the one thing you can't do, say you're sitting around at the lake, mm -hmm. having a few uh, cold beers or maybe doing some fishing. Yeah. You ain't gonna lean up against this thing. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Dang. I wanna see if we can get it hot enough here in Texas to cook an egg on the hood. You might be able to. You definitely gotta watch out and tell your girl she wearing some Daisy Dukes or something, gets out of the steak and leans up against it. <laughs> Permanent branding real quick. You know, if you go back and watch the old Daisy Dukes, they ain't even that short no more. No. Compared to what the girls are doing these days. Yeah. You know what I think would be fun is if we had real Stormtrooper outfits and we drove around. <laughs> <laughs> or we could run down to uh, down to Ferris and get out of this at the Scarborough Fair wearing a uh, Star Trek outfit. Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking sees a trash can. <laughs> Don't hit it. <laughs> My wife's Range Rover is sitting outside tonight. I'm driving this home. Hell yeah, I don't blame you. This is so cool, dude. <laughs> I don't know if it's cool or not. I'm maybe maybe we use this as our next giveaway car. The demons fix to be done. I think they're badass, but I, there's people out there. I don't you know. know. They are. A millennial dude up there, he's all worried that we're gonna get bashed on. 
if we uh, if we give away a Tesla Cybertruck. These people like it. Oh yeah. All right, so I got my Tesla Cybertruck and I actually think it's kind of neat. Now I'm not changing over and gonna be all electric or anything like that, but I tell you what, I was gonna flip it and just make some money, but now I've decided to give it away. That's right, you go to gasmonkeygarage.com, get a shirt, hat, keychain, whatever, and you could win the Cybertruck. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, that's horrible, you know, it's electric and it's all this. Hey, it's made right here in America by Americans, and if you don't like it, you can shoot it or blow it up or whatever you want. But before you do something that drastic, if you win and you just don't want a Cybertruck, how about 120 grand cash? You choose. So gasmogeygarage.com right now, 120 grand cash or a Cybertruck. Get you some.